When we see a line that shows the average price moving up with the overall trend in the market, any temporary decline in prices below that line is likely not going to last. In this chart, there's a moment when a candle has a full red body that goes through the line. However, this situation usually doesn't continue for long. In such cases, traders often expect a change in direction as the candle typically ends up closing above the upward sloping line. This indicates the ongoing strength of the upward trend. This situation is a common occurrence in the market. When a stock is following a trend and temporarily pulls back to a fast-moving average that's pointing straight up, the reversal is typically short-lived. There are two main reasons for this. First, the price struggles to easily move through a fast-moving average that's sloping steeply upward. Second, for a stock to genuinely reverse, the fast-moving average usually needs to be flat or sloping downward. These factors contribute to the temporary nature of pullbacks during such times. There isn't much to adhere, this aligns with the universal saying, don't fight the tape. If you're attempting to go against the trend, that fast-moving average might negatively impact your trading account. In simpler terms, it's generally not advisable to go against the prevailing market trend. These instances provide excellent opportunities to enter and participate in the long-term trend. Pullbacks to the 10-day moving average often lead to situations where you might later think, could have, should have, would have. Indicating that you might regret not taking advantage of the opportunity when looking back after 10 days. In simpler terms, these moments can be missed opportunities that you might regret later. A riskier entry point is at the break of the 10-day moving average because prices typically don't stay below it. A safer entry opportunity arises when the candlestick closes above the moving average, usually during the next candle. This confirms the support, and a bounce is commonly observed shortly after. This approach emphasizes waiting for confirmation before entering a trade, enhancing the likelihood of a successful trade. Setting the stop loss just below the moving average is advisable. The extent of risk taken by traders should be determined based on their assessment of potential profits. This aligns with the principle of balancing risk and reward in trading decisions, allowing traders to tailor their risk exposure to their individual risk tolerance and profit goals. This setup is particularly suitable for day traders who can quickly capitalize on the bounce. Day traders should consider taking profits shortly after the bounce. Long-term traders, on the other hand, may opt to exit at previous highs, hold for a continuation of the trend, or exit when the price crosses the 10-day moving average. The strategy allows flexibility for traders with different time horizons to tailor their approach based on their specific goals and preferences. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions or need further clarification on trading strategies, feel free to reach out via WhatsApp using this number. Don't miss out on our future trading strategy videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more valuable content. Wishing you success in your trading endeavors. Until next time, have a fantastic day, and happy trading!